So Curl Friends, if you are watching this video right now and you haven't subscribed as yet, what you waiting for? Do it. First things first, I did the big chop. Oh my gosh. I don't know, I feel like I had separation anxiety and I've never had that before. It was the weirdest feeling. Usually when I see people crying about it, I usually think that they're full of shit. I'm like, okay, it's just hair. But this time I actually felt it and it wasn't even that much hair. And I'm going to tell you how much hair I cut in a second. Like, I didn't want to go anywhere without a hat on. So, why I did it? Let's just get into it. Why did I do it? Why did I chop my hair off? Well, plain and simple, my hair was shit. Or my ends were stringy. Like, it was just not... So I couldn't even wear my hair in the simplest style ever. A freaking bun. Are you kidding me? What's up? It's your girl Curly Bay, and I'm back with you again with another video. I know I stopped the makeup challenge, but I've been like messing around with my makeup because I really want to get good at it. I'm trying. So I never stopped the challenge. I was just kind of doing it on my own because filming every day was just a, a headache. But um, so for every video that you guys watch, let me know what you think about my makeup, what I should do better. Tell me something good and tell me something nasty, okay? Fair game? Fair game. Alright, so if you're here new for the ch bleh, if you're here for the first time, go ahead and click that subscribe button and notification bell because you don't want to miss out. As well as if you're a returning viewer, if you're a returning girlfriend, what's up? And see you in a minute. I know I've been um I've been neglecting you guys. I'm so sorry, but I've just been so swamped with work. Um, which I will get along in the next couple blogs and vlogs as well. So today, as you can see from the title, I'm talking about the big chop. I know you guys noticed that I have no more red in my hair and my hair is noticeably shorter. So I definitely want to talk about that story. So let the film roll. Hey guys, so I'm here to play ends with Book Whipper. What about my this one? Uh, what? Complaining back there? Yeah, do a tree No, do a tree for the camera. What's your problem? Okay, so. If you guys noticed that beautiful lady in the video, that's Book by Breeze. Wait, Book with Breeze from off of Instagram. She's so dope. Um, she also works alongside with Braided by Wire. A lot of you guys have either been braided by her or seen her on Instagram because she popping. Let's just talk about why I did it. I cut my hair because my hair was shitty. It was not, it did not have the shrinkage. Look at this, look at this. My hair didn't do that. It didn't do that shit. It, it would just be like, and it was stuck there. And then whenever I would try to do twist outs, like the twist outs wasn't working. I was trying to do these musty ass videos with musty ass hair. It wasn't working. Um, after a while, my hair stopped taking in product. And it's a, it's mainly because um, I know there was some heat damage, but most of it, most of it was from um, bleaching my hair and coloring it so often. And then I used a box color. Like who does that? Who? Who does that? <coughs> Curly Bay, that too. But you know what? Um, you live and you learn. Um, I've been natural for about five years. So, let's stop this right there. If you guys are natural, comment down below. Tell me how you went natural. Have you always been natural? Or are you transitioning? Or did you just do the big chop? Like, I want to know. I want to get to know some of you guys. As well... As how long have you been natural or are you thinking about going natural or if you just here for some jokes because uh, it's been a journey so I just want to um, say this to say I am I have this curly bay channel but it's more than just hair um, I'm gonna definitely explain that more in a few videos but this is my journey and I want you guys to join along with me um, I don't know everything I am Firstly, new to natural hair so I'm learning and as I learn I want to show you guys what I learned we can share ideas so 
If you guys have any ideas, put them down in the comment below. I would love to try them. If you had a trial and error, put them in the comment below. I'm not against learning because being natural, it's hard enough. And without support from your girlfriends, how are you going to grow, right? So right now, as you guys see, I've been doing the waist length challenge. This is the first month. So any the person who has the most growth this month will win a prize. So I have these shirts. It says waist length goals. And then in the back, you can see where it has the numbers all the way down to 20. Yeah. So that's what I have going on. So I designed these shirts myself. Why do I seem so wrong? Okay, because I was saying. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is why I went natural. Well, not natural, but this is why I did the big chop again. So it's not a complete big chop, but I definitely cut off um, a good amount of my hair. So as you guys see from the, the this video, which I'm, this not, bleh, bleh. if you guys can see from this picture, which I'm going to insert right here. Um, yeah, my hair was down to the 10 mark, meaning I was halfway there to waist length hair. My goal was to get to a 16. I didn't want to go to a full on 20, but um, I feel like that's too much responsibility. So I definitely um, probably would have been there by, you know, next year or whatever. But um, I, I had to start off with health. So I chose health over length health over trendy like I want to do the do right by my hair so in order for me to even be fair to myself and not holding on to the length just because I just needed to cut that bugger off and start fresh <laughs> My fingers are getting lost. <laughs> yeah, I lost some fingers. <laughs> of fresh hair, so I really love it. I love how bouncy my hair is. I love it. I love it, I love it. I love it so much. Yes, so I could do this all day. Like, this is insane. This is freaking <laughs> I know I'm looking crazy, but I'm, I'm getting ready for bed. So it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, so I noticed with my hair, it has more shrinkage. Um, the styles are coming out better. It's holding product better. Like, Man, it's a confidence booster. Like, you know, whenever you get a new haircut, it's just like, bang, like that. You know, you know. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a length check. I don't even know if my hand is long enough to do it, but I'm gonna take from a section, my longest section, and I'm gonna pull it, and ah, my hand doesn't even reach it. Hold on, hold on, okay. I don't know where that is. Wherever that is, which I'll find out later. Okay. There. Where is that? Is that a three? I think that's a three. Between a three and a four. But yeah, that's where my hair is. I'm okay with that. You know, when I, they first cut my hair, she was like, oh, it's not that much. Curly bit turned into picky headed bait, okay? Cause my hair, <laughs> my hair, I don't know, like, I, I, I guess I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. So, um, why I first went natural is because I was sick and tired of people freaking up my hair whenever I get a perm. I would get like burned, it was just all crispy, you guys look at the blog, it was a mess. So I just like, you know what, F it. Let's just go natural, let's just see what happens. And then I really wanted to do that so I can, um, get the keratin treatments and as I grew to love my hair as, as I grew to learn how to maneuver my hair and 
my hair started loving me back and I started getting to do all these different colors I was like F the F the <laughs> keratin treatment it's like, that's cancer anyway so I just left it like, like that and I just started having fun with my hair my hair was blonde my hair was purple my hair was pink um, it was black it was like so many different colors I shaved the side man my hair was popping I, I don't care what nobody say my hair was popping so um, I've done it all I'm okay now and I just want to see how long my hair could get because obviously it can get long it it obviously can get to waist length so I'm gonna actually give my hair a fair shot so this was the only time that I've ever been actually pissed about my hair like this is the first time I've actually experienced separation anxiety I've never experienced special separation anxiety even when I did the big chop like the full on big chop I did not experience that but this time I literally felt like my heart broke I was like golly like dang you cut all that hair off and I noticed that why I don't go to hairdressers anymore because I set certain standards for my hair not that they don't do a good job but I know okay I don't use these tools I don't use certain professional tools because I'm more like on the natural side so if I do go to a professional hairdresser it would be very it would be very rare you know just to treat myself I said I wasn't gonna do braids but guys I wanna have fun with this um, I know that um, braids do make my hair weaker my hair does fall out so I'm not gonna keep them in as long but I'm gonna like wear wigs I'm gonna like you know, boss it up. I'm gonna like do so many styles like Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's cute. Um, kind of. But oh and I noticed too that my styles last longer. Like, okay, this did not no, this didn't work out good. But like I had this style in for about three days and you can still see before I cut my hair by this it would have been flat it would have been all over the place it would have been frizzy and even though it's frizzy it's still kind of cute and I could still like style it or whatever and it still be cute because it still has majority of the the curl so I love it so much I love it so much you guys don't even understand damn I'm about to be fucking up Instagram <laughs> anyways um, I love you guys so much. Make sure you go ahead and comment down below. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. Subscribe. Talk to me on Twitter at I am Curly Bay. And I just miss you guys so much. And I'm gonna flood your TLs like crazy. So stay tuned for that. And always remember to dream big, take chances, and never stop learning. Besos.